video. Hey guys, Sean Wilson here with you. So I'm looking, I'm scrolling online on Google to find a song, some chords from Eddie Brown I could use. And uh, I found Eddie Brown, but then I found this other guy, Richard Tubbs, man. And he played right after Eddie the song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Take a listen. Go ahead, tell them here. Yeah, you sure. must. Yeah, you know. Stand shit. Straight in. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is we're going to tell you what I like about three sections. I'm going to pick three sections out of this piece that I really like, that I think you should study, that you could add to your playing. It's going to give you some dope chords, but I'm going to break down only one of those sections. So let's figure out which one we want to do here. We're in the key of D flat, and we're on the five right now where he's starting. Oh, now that, I don't know, we may need to break that part down there. Um, that was a dope, uh, I heard some minor seven flat five there, heard an inverted dominant in there, and that bass is going so fast you can barely hear it, so some of you guys want me to break that down. We'll see, stay to the end, I'll, I'll pick one of these. Okay, let's keep on going. Ooh. Oh my goodness, these chords are coming so fast, that's good muscle memory there. He stops like he's about to die. Oh, okay. Now he went up a half step, so he's in the key of D now. Ooh, went to the B major. <laughs> Some nice progressions there. And, that, and it's funny because I like that part because every single note has a different chord. It seems like he's moving down with the pinky chromatically down there until he resolves it and then you hear the, you hear him go wild. So this is a this is a gospel musician thing, man. We don't you know you don't hear us doing um Right, you don't hear that with um, other other genres. This is mainly us because we love those harmonies, and so each of these notes has a different harmony. Uh, so let's let's see if we can find a third one. Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't know why, I like that. I like that one right there. Combination of some diminished chords there, maybe some chordal chords and minor seven flat fives there. Um, so between those, and now he's, that looks like it's a movement to change the key. Now he's in the E flat. Okay, so we've got these three sections and which one of these do I wanna give you? I think I'm gonna give you this section Three. And the reason why I'm going to give you section three 
The reason why I'm going to give you section three is because I really, I always like drop two chords. I also like when musicians switch between the minor seven flat fives and the diminished chords. I just think it has a nice sound. In addition, it can uh, show you guys a, a cool key change if you're trying to go into E flat. All right, so let's break down this cool chord section here. So, all right, now let's go, let's run that back and see what those chords are. We got a quarter chord here. We have an A, D, G, C, and then the next chord is a quarter chord. Again, a G, C, F, and B flat. Let's play those together. And now, nice sound, right? And then the chord after this, the third chord will be a diminished chord, F sharp, C, E flat, and A. So it sounds like this. That already sounds nice. The diminished lit right next to that chordal sound sounds really great. And then after that, we have a minor seven flat five, E minor seven flat five, which is an E, B flat, D, and G. So it's gonna sound like this. Oh my goodness, yeah. And then he goes up to a, a, a D or a G minor chord. It's an inverted state. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to a, a B1305 by adding a B flat there and leaving the root off like this. So A flat, D, G, and B, and it will sound like this. Oh my goodness. And then the next chord is gonna be a, um, let's have this, let's have this here. It's really gonna, it's really an A flat nine chord here, but I'm playing it in this context here. And then I'm just gonna, um, we can play this C sharp by itself. Well, actually with the C sharp, let's put an A sharp there too. I like that sound there. So it's gonna sound like this. And then our last chord, which is the D6-9. D, um, F sharp, B, E, A, and D. So it's gonna sound like this. What's cool about this, and something that you may not realize, that you can actually land on the five <laughs> of the new key, B and E flat, it would replace the six nine chord. And instead of this, you can end on the B flat, which would be the five of the E flat. That would also sound great too. So that sounds something like that. Ah, ah. Then you're in E flat. <laughs> okay, so man, these are some cool chords. So I definitely recommend you guys look at all the spots that I showed you. Go and learn those things. But if you want to, uh, I kind of reduced the time for you a little bit. If you're on the website, I broke the whole song down so you can see that and learn it that way as well. But you got to check out the original video, Major Scale TV, him and Eddie Brown. See the whole video. It's a dope video. Can't wait to see you guys uh, next week. Thanks again. Take care.